So if you compare something like that, uh, you know, Ray and Force Awakens, compare that to a character from the same pr- franchise as Prometheus. You really want to see the consensus of strong female characters yeah. present to you Ellen fucking Ripley. Yeah. From Alien and Aliens. If you really want to see a strong female character, that is really the archetype because she, if you just those two movies, the third movie was kind of like it went kind of downhill from there, but Alien and Aliens, if you've never seen those movies, fucking take some, get some popcorn and be in for a treat and look for that. And if you don't have the time to do that, here's, I'll put this in the show notes. I was watching this the other night in the two minute preparation for the show. Watch the cargo hold scene at the end of Aliens. Holy shit. And by the way, it's 1986, no CGI, it's fucking puppets. And if you want to look at the way Sigourney Weaver plays that is just fucking chef's kiss because she's not the furrow brow badass. She is scared to death, exactly, but she yeah. does it anyway. And that really and is strong yeah. characterization. Well, that that's part of what makes aliens just so awesome, period, is that, you know, she is scared and she's going to protect that kid. Yeah. And that's what's going to happen. Like, I mean, the bottom line is, you know, her desire to protect the child is much greater than her fear, which is part of what makes a great hero. I saw aliens in a theater and she says the, the fucking super awesome line, which gives me goosebumps to this day. Get away from her. You bitch. Everybody Mm -hmm. cheered in that theater. It was fucking awesome. And to pull it back to star Wars. I do remember, um, you know, I think I, I also got to see Return of the Jedi. Like with and the, uh, the, with the preview time? tickets yeah. for the preview tickets. And I do, I think one of the greatest communal experiences that I've ever had in a theater was sitting down at the beginning of Return of the Jedi, you know, with all these crammed with all these other people. Yeah. And then the fanfare starts, the John Williams fanfare starts the, a long time ago when a galaxy far, far away comes up on the screen. And it was just a roar of yeah. like, yeah, give us our crack. And, yeah. uh, and it was it was great. I mean, it was really, you know, yeah. it, it's it's one of two major things that I remember. As far as, you know, film going goes yeah. like that cheer at the beginning of Return of the Jedi and then sobbing like a fucking baby and up when uh, after the the montage of uh, the the beginning of that movie. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's 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 a complex collection of things. Star Wars. It's wait, like, hold you, on. I, I got to back up a second. Yeah, I don't disagree with you about the up thing. I think just so everybody knows what Tom's talking about. It's just a small little side conversation here where did the up thing come from you just like that know. just came out of the blue i mean you're brain. right if you don't have if you don't tear up on the montage that, yeah. that at be- the beginning of up you are a person you do not you do not have a fucking soul i'll just tear just up gonna say right now. sob like a baby in need of therapy hmm. i like fought that- the tears back then oh i i actually heard somebody in the back gasp and sob and oh, I yeah. thought, oh my God, that's so heartbreaking. I'm it, about to do it myself. Yeah. That spreads like people who vomit. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like somebody crying, it's gonna like, oh well, yeah. I feel for that now. Right, right. Because we right. have empathy here on Bicoastal Boostcast, everybody. 